Okay, hello. Um, the game I played was an RPG called 2095 Beyond Human, made by Francisco Padula and Samuel Spinacci. Um, I found it on a website called the Audio Game Digital Store, and this game was available as a free demo, so I, I played the demo um, on my laptop. Windows. Windows laptop. Uh, the controls were really straightforward. Um, you use the left and arrow keys to navigate between um, the objects or the NPC or like the area in like a certain like scene and like so like if you wanted to go into a, like an alley you're like sent if you're standing in a street and you want to go into an alleyway you would like s tap the right arrow key to like view it and then press enter to interact with it and um certain um objects or characters had like s different sound effects to indicate that they're important and areas that you can enter or exit from also had their own sound effect it was like a really high-pitched sound effect that was like really loud <laughs> um so the whole premise of the game basically you play as a detective named axel reeves in the year 2095 and you and like the entire population um have cybernetic parts because of like pollution and global warming it's like apocalyptic almost um it's like futuristic cyberpunk vibes uh you find a, a like a, a dead robot basically that had its like entire memory wiped like basically it was like a person cyber bot android but like it was its memory was gone and like that's weird because that's not supposed to happen and because you're a detective, you decide to go investigate. And that's the premise of the game. Um, experiencing, like, an audio game for the first time was <laughs> very unfamiliar. Um, this, this game in particular had, like, a text-to-speech bot, bot, right? Like, there was text on the screen, but, like, I, I chose to um, play it, like, without looking at the screen just to, like, see what it'd be like to just play with just audio. And... Um, it was both, it was both clear, but also, it was clear and hard to understand at the same time, which it, it, which is weird. Like, um, I noticed that the voice would sometimes, like, for certain words that end with Y, the Y would get dropped and it would sound like a different word. And that confused me a lot. And, like, I was like, wow, this is, like, really hard to, like, interpret. But, like, thinking about it, they're, like... People who are like familiar with this kind of like text to speech software and stuff probably don't have that problem that, that I had. It was definitely because it was like my first time playing a game with that text kind of text to speech. Um, and it also doesn't help that my ears are really bad. <laughs> um, eventually I did get used to it though, and like the more I listened, the more I could like pick up like what words were what. Um, some words though, like if they were like um, very vague words. I think there was a word, one of them was judge, it said, but I couldn't make it, it out what it was until it said it, like, the fifth time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, eventually I did get used to it, um, and I did enjoy the game. Uh, the, the, the soundtrack was, like, a techno beat, and it was really nice. It really fit well with the theme of the story. Um, it had, like, sound effects for certain areas. Some of them were a little loud, so it was like covering up the narrator, but that wasn't like too big of a problem. Um, and the, the the premise and the writing was really engaging. Um, it described the scene pretty well, like not specific enough to like waste time, but also had enough description for me to like to help me like visualize where I was and like what was happening. Um, and at some point, I started feeling like I was playing a point and click because of like the the way the mechanics worked like a, a point and click without visuals of course but like um basically because of the way like you like would interact with an object and then you would go back and then interact with an uh, with something else that's relevant to what you just like were investigating um and that's how you would progress through the story you would like kind of explore and then figure out what exactly the mystery is within the game um I also noticed that whenever I entered like a new area, um, I would, I ended up like cycling through like all of the interactables um, in that area. Like 
letting it letting the narrator read out what it is and so it, it helped me like figure out how many things I ha- like I had to work with and also to help like mentally visualize my space um and that visualization just ended up being a circle most of the time because like when you cycle through it would go back to the, the first item so um but yeah it was a really interesting experience and I might look into more audio games in the future uh because this was this was nice this was I liked the story and it was uh, the and the music and it, like the only thing I just really had to get used to was the text to speech but you know yeah <laughs> um thanks for listening that's the end goodbye